role model to many of us, somebody that I very much look up to, an altruistic person who never forgets the vulnerable and is always ready to help whoever it may be from any walk of life. My interview today is with President Emeritus, Her Excellency Marie-Louise Collet-Rupreka. And first of all, I thank you very much for joining us today, Your Excellency. Thank you. Thank you so much, Leanne. I'd like to convey my best regards to and everybody, to all the, um, uh, the numerous um, people following Net Television and your, your, uh, your popular program. And I thank you also very much because I know I've spoken you, to you just before we started the program yes. and you were, you were manning the phones for yes. your new food project and that's the reason yes. we can't actually see you but we're hearing you live and I'm so yes. glad to have you here. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you. And not, only, not only myself but there were about four or five um, or six colleagues of mine who have joined me uh, through obviously we are... We are uh, um, not in the same office, but everybody from home. But we've been um, uh, answering people and uh, responding to their call for assistance. Absolutely. Um, yes. We have um, a lot to learn from you. I mean, I wish to speak about this latest initiative, which you're doing. And yes. you, you, you're conducting a food project. If, uh... Yes. Um, uh, well, the, 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 um, the need that has... Uh, um, arose with, with the uh, coronavirus um, pandemic, unfortunately, very a lot. But the, one very basic thing, which is happening, people who are who, ha who have become unemployed due to this pandemic, um, there are quite a number who need very basic um, things such as food. So what we're doing is responding to, to their needs yeah, in terms of, of food. I must uh, take the opportunity there to, to uh, thank um, wholeheartedly the, the, the contributors to this uh, food, food depot, which we have in Floriano, mm -hmm. and somewhere which we are distributing food to the, the diverse localities in Musa and Rosso. Um, we have had quite a number of companies who have come forward and offer food and also donations to, buy, to, donations to buy food. But also we have small, even retail outlets who have offered to contribute in their, in their way, in their in wealth. But also I've had a number of callers today, not only myself, but also my colleagues from so people from their own homes and telling us that they want to donate. Um, a certain amount a month until this whole um, situation clears away mm -hmm. so that we can continue to assist um, these the, the families and individuals who uh, actually need food. Yes. But I must say also that what we're doing, the Malta Trust Foundation, because it's the Malta Trust Foundation that is organizing for this, we are working in collaboration. With, the, with NGOs and also some government entities. Mm -hmm. That is, um, we are working with Caritas, Millennium Seven, YMCA, um, St. Jean Antilles, so just to mention a few because there are others. And also, for example, we're working with um, FSWOS in Gozo, mm -hmm. um, so that also in Gozo we can reach out to people, to people in need. Mm -hmm. um, and this agency has support as well. So it is a collaborative platform, I would say. What we have provided as World of Trust Foundation is a collaborative um, platform whereby we can tap on each other's resources. Mm -hmm. For mm -hmm. example, um, we are being referred to with, with clients by many NGOs, by many NGOs um, for, 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 this, for food. But then, for example, if we come across somebody who needs the help of social of, of some psychosocial professional return to Caritas because then there is a pool of psychosocial professionals led by them before so that they can help us with that. So yes. what this is what we're doing. I'm reaching out, for example, to even the Department of Social Security with certain, with certain um, uh, situations or some people who are homeless will reach out to, to other organizations. So it is a collaborative effort and I think even in this um, very sad time, we must say that there is always a silver lining yes. in our cloud. 
Yes. And the silver lining in all this is the sense of unity that, and the sense of collaboration that we are experiencing. Um, NGOs, organizations, government authorities, and also um, government agencies. And uh, I mean, sometimes we don't realize that people are in need. Mm -hmm. And uh, some people are embarrassed to actually say that they are in need. And yes. I think you've made it easy for them because basically what they're doing is they're just giving you and your colleagues a call and mm -hmm. speaking with you about their needs. Yes, yes. And also, for example, there are difficulties there. For like, like um, the elderly, there are some people out there who are all, all on their own. And even though there has been some... And um, there has been information, but it has not reached them. For example, what about um, cashing, cashing their pension checks? Mm -hmm. Or rather, if they get, if they have direct credit, if they, and they can't go to the bank, what's happening? Mm -hmm. You know, I have had callers during the last week asking, asking us such information. So even though there is information out there, however, there always is the need for the individual, maybe the person has not absorbed what has been said over the media. Yes. So you have to have patience to explain and also at times facilitate, because I have had um, occasions to, to uh, um, by elderly people telling me that they have nobody that they can trust to go to the bank. And then, for example, I, re I reach out for them, I ask them who would be the person that they could trust. And many of them ask for the, for example, the parish priest. Yes. So I reach out to the parish priest and uh, um, ask them to, to, uh, to help and assist um, these individual, individual um, elderly people. So there is a whole collaboration. And I must say, I will, I, I, I'm sure I'm missing out of, on quite a number of collaborators in this. So uh, um, I really would like to thank every single person who is trying to reach out to others. And this is my appeal to everyone out there. Please do reach out to, to, to people who you know that they're on their own, that to people that they need mentoring, that, that they need some encouragement. Because feeling sort of um, staying in the house for a long time could be depressing for, for some. Absolutely. Uh, Absolutely. So, if we reach out to each other and use the social media instead of the usual um, brag on social media, we, we should reach out to each other on that or our telephone. We must use anything to keep connected and to connect with others that maybe nobody really think of them to connect. Mm -hmm. So, Leah, I think that um, your, your program is doing a world of good um, by, by, you know, having this opportunity to speak about this. I mean, it's very admirable what you're doing and the fact that you always reach out to the vulnerable and you give the vulnerable a voice, I, that's got to be admired a lot. Okay, um, thank you, Diane. But I'm, I'm not the only one. I don't think we're a whole big team doing all sorts of things. There's uh, no, I do that or you do that. We all collaborate. We're very flexible. We're very, well, we do, we're trying our utmost to reach out to those in need. Yes. yes. They need a voice. But they also they need the help in time. Yes. And what I'd like to remind the public is that doing all this and working with colleagues, you're still um, observing social distancing. Yes, of course. Which um, yes. I, know, I know you've got a voice that people listen to. Perhaps we can um, yes, yes. talk about the importance of yes. social distancing. I do a feel. I do a feel um, from, my, from my heart for everybody to observe what is being instructed by our Department of, of Public Health. It's very important. This is a dark time, yes. This is a deadly virus. But also, we can overcome if each and every one of us observe what is being said to us, to keep as much as possible at home and go out only for the, the very basic needs. And, and when we are out there, we ensure that we, are, we keep um, a distance from one another. If each and every one of us do help in this manner, we will be not only safeguarding ourselves, our families and our communities, but even more so, we must safeguard those unsung heroes that we have in our hospitals, yes. who are the, our frontliners, who without them, 
we yes. could all be in the deep end of things. So let's work together so that we can overcome this scourge, this unfortunate deadly scourge. It is very unfortunate. I mean, it's very tempting for a lot of the younger people, especially with Easter week weekend, and yes. we've got beautiful weather. And yes. uh, um, so they still need to stay at home as much as possible. Yes. Um, to round off, Your Excellency, Easter is all, you know, it's all about new beginnings. Everything yes. appears very dark and hard at the stage, mm -hmm. and it's hard to imagine normality again. I'd be very pleased if you could end with yes. giving a brief message to the public today yes I think there is a, a new beginning a beginning in all this and I said maybe this is a, a, a dark cloud and being an optimistic and altruistic and thing I see the silver lining and this silver lining uh, is the sense of solidarity that has grown tremendously between us the sense of uh, um, people wanting to reach out I, I am so amazed I'm overwhelmed I can say with the telephone call asking us, how can I contribute? How can I donate? What can I donate? Can I donate food or can I donate money? You know, the sense of reaching out to each other. I think this is one big silver lining. Yes, the Maltese time. have a very kind heart. And yes, I thank you very, very much for joining us today. I you. wish you and your family a very happy Easter. Yes, thank and you. thank you very much, thank Your you. Excellency. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. That was Her Excellency, uh, the President Emeritus, Marie Louise Colerio Preca. I thank you today for watching. I will be with you tomorrow at 7 p.m. Keep safe, stay in, good night.